Hi guys, it's Evita from Evita's Light Tarot. Please don't forget to hit that like button for me. And if you're vibing and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Also down below in the description box is my information if you want a personal reading or you have any questions. I've had people ask me about donations. I take Cash App and PayPal. That is also down in the description box down below. All right, guys. And if you can, try to do Cash App or PayPal before think, uh, Super Thanks, if possible. Only because they um, they take a lot out when you guys do it that way. But I am grateful for anything. I'm grateful for your likes. I'm grateful for your comments, for your subscribes, for your support. We made it to 5,000 yesterday. And that was a blessing. I love you guys so much. All right. All right. This has something to do with money. All right. Divine Father, Mother, Ancestor, Spirit, Guides, and the Most High, please surround us and fold us and protect us with your light. Anyone sending any spell work, evil, or negative intentions towards us, please send it back with full forgiveness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Archangel Michael, will you please protect us this time? Please don't forget to not put anything else above your own intuition only take what resonates leave the rest behind please please do not make something fit that is not yours and remember my readings are for entertainment purposes only I'm hearing money, 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 money. <laughs> Let's see what's going on, guys. All right, what is going on here? Please and thank you. Okay, so you could be a Queen of Cups. Or you can be in your Queen of Cups energy. Queen of Cups is a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is very intuitive. Has a lot of wisdom. Is very fair. Okay. You have a divine white light protecting you at this time. You are from a royal bloodline is what I'm, I'm really looking at this crown that's flying, like that's above your head. It's really standing out to me. Now remember, a he could be a she, she could be a he. So you're a golden child. I don't know if you've ever heard someone say this to you at all. And maybe you got a reading a, year, a couple years ago maybe. Someone could have said this to you. I'm just hearing someone may have said this to you or you heard that saying, golden child. And it kind of stood out to you a little bit. Somebody, since you were a child, has been running from something. And they changed their name. You could have moved a lot when you were a child. Maybe you were a military, they called you a military brat, you know. Um, or you just maybe moved a lot. Let me see what else is going on here. It could have even been like to different houses. Or you could have just changed a lot. You could have even ran away a lot. Something, you, you did something. There's something there where you left a lot. You traveled a lot. You moved around. All right. 
right? So I have a Virgo too. So this person is a psychic. I'm getting somebody that is either soul searching right now or is a psychic investigator. Your calling is to investigate. You might like to watch investigator shows. Maybe you haven't watched it as much, but you used to. Like crime shows like um, Law and Order, um, CSI, um, maybe the first 48. Something may have uh, pulled you to that. It was your ancestors. What I'm hearing is they were, they were trying to give you clues that's why if you watched shows or movies like this, you were intrigued. That's why. They were trying to show you what your gift was early on. I'm hearing you used to talk to animals too when you were a child. You liked to talk to animals. You may have even had a dog or a cat or something when you were young. You could have a shaman, uh, animal shaman ancestors. I was pulling that a couple weeks ago. This is about balancing things out and, and giving you justice. Page of Pentacles, please and thank you. All right, so we have your foundation. There was a lot of instability, family, um, disputes, financial loss. This could be in the past, or this could be something happening now. Now, Pentacles is an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Someone in your family is not who they say they are. And they have been using somebody else's name because they were running from something. It could have even been just the last name that was changed. Something may be different on their birth their their birth year. I'm hearing documents. You may if you're able to get on, hands on on documents. This person could have been in the military or they could have wanted to be in the military. This is like somebody that's very old school. They're very greedy. They always wanted to live above their means. So they always did what ne needed to be done is what I'm hearing to, to get money, to take money. They wanted the finer things. I see somebody that sits back sometimes and reads or is on the computer like um, gambling like it's a, a game that they play on there it's a gambling game but I think that that's not really what they're doing on there there's actually um it's like a, a back page to the dark net I'm hearing they also have access to um, uh, some kind of bank on there. Swiss accounts or something, some kind of accounts. You could have lost somebody in your family. Could have been a mother.
could have been a father, could have been um, a grandmother, a grandfather. I feel like it's somebody that left you, they left you something and um, you may have like um, a big family on one side of your family, maybe you never really met them or you just don't, maybe they just don't live close, could be cousins or something. This person did a lot. I, I just don't understand. It would have been easier. See, the reason that you were picked is because they knew you would have took everybody with you. Wow. And now you've been shown something different with these people. They also had gotten your community involved and they were having you followed. You may have said something about this and they, they, they threw it off gaslighting you. I just see somebody walking and um, constantly having to look behind them. You may have actually called on this one time, at least one time. You may have called the cops, but they didn't do much for you. That's because somebody listens to the um, two-way radio is what I'm hearing. So there's a station that you can listen to in certain counties that connect to the radio, the police officer's radio, and they can hear when there's calls that go out. And this person probably heard the call and um, they also have somebody in the community that watches you, a couple people. You may have even heard something in your attic at one point. I'm hearing something about your um your vents above your um yeah your AC vents you could have had a suspicion and, and maybe they knew this you did something to alert them and I feel that they may have uh, took it out or covered it up or something. You could have a, a patch in your wall somewhere, like uh, where they, it looks like, you know, when someone punches the wall and they repair it, or if there's a hole, um, something like that, it kind of, you could tell when someone fixes it usually. I don't know if there's something still there, but there was, there was something there. If you have carpet, something also about the floor in one of the rooms underneath the carpet. They did a lot to make things happen like noises, um, have you gang stopped, gaslighting you. Um, moving things around. I, I was picking up on some of these things the other day in a read. Yeah, they paid, they definitely paid people to be hush-hush is what I'm hearing. Let's see, there was somebody up higher above them that has been sponsoring this for a long time. Since you were younger. They've seen the light in you. 
and they were pulling off of your energy to create their world. This person knew that they could become even richer. And yet they, they even breadcrumbed this other person. Yeah, a lot of smoke and illusions. Smoke and mirrors. Somebody here um, studied film, is what I'm hearing. They studied film. So that they knew how to do things and, and, and um, manipulate, is what I'm hearing. They were trying to get you on some kind of video recording to use this against you. This could have been an emperor. It could have been an uncle, a baby daddy. It could have been your father, a stepfather, or um, somebody you looked up to like a father. Or the kids are your, uh, the father of your, your children, if you have any children. This person may have a life insurance policy out on you. They sent a decoy in to gaslight you. Somebody to come in and have a relationship with you. Either for as a friend or a lover or something here. This could have been even somebody in the neighborhood. Yeah, but see, you're very spiritual. And you had a gut feeling about this. You were using your intuition is what I'm hearing. They did something yesterday or the day, I think it was yesterday because of this new moon. They did something I see this person's like running out of money. They've been borrowing money now. And I'm hearing they're on borrowed time. I remember picking up that someone was trying to manipulate time. Alright, what else is going on? Yeah, so you could be a high priestess. You're very, very intuitive. Or high priest. You have, you have spiritual gifts and a lot of knowledge. And strength. I'm also picking up on a Leo. This person is definitely um, um, a wolf in sheep's clothing. I don't know if anything means anything to you about the figure eight or the number eight. That's been coming up a lot in my readings too. Eternity. Like... Sometimes you get it with the hearts. She's got it on her arm right there. She's got it tattooed on her arm. You've seen through this person's mask, though. This person could have been kind of a romantic. It could have been a, a water sign also. This person has is connected. Is a son or a daughter or something here. Of a... Um, A leader of a coven. All right, what happened here? What what is going on? What did this person do yesterday? I don't know. It looks like they really upset your ancestors, though. They cannot sleep. They're being taunted, haunted. Mm 
not only is this happening, but they're receiving karma. They're very controlling with anything that came your way when it came to money or um, information about money that was left to you. Even if you had questions about it, they would gaslight you and tell you there was nothing left for you. Nothing was ever left for you. But that was a lie. Yeah, you're about to get some information. What, what Spirit is saying is that um, to look into the, the, the right information. I said something the other day about your birth certificate. Following the crumbs, following the information. So maybe looking at your your information, your um, family, like your parents' names, who their parents were, your, your, you know what I mean, your grandparents. Somewhere along the lines within that you're going to find out. And I remember somebody was saying something on here about being able to, I don't know if you know what community or what state or whatever they live in, but all you have to do, it's public information. I know that they probably covered some of this stuff though. So it might not be as easy to find. I don't know where I put it, but uh, it, there's some kind of information there that is, oh, um, local probate judge office and search deceased person's will that was filed. So find out exactly what names it come up with with your family members and looked up any of the deceased wills. Did you hear that? Confirmation. That might be where you find some of this information, but it's, I don't know how, but spirit saying that it's something's about to happen. The veil is being lifted. You're just another step closer is what I just heard. 222 on the timer in any second. <laughs> yep. That is uh, alignment, trust, and balance. That's going to bring everything into balance. But if you find somebody around you that's a little um, shake, shaken up, that's why, is what I'm hearing. Because they don't want this coming out. They could have hired somebody to um, do something to you. But this person, there's a, there's a lot of heat on them right now, so they won't do it. People are telling, telling, him, to, telling him to walk away. That's what I hear. You need to just let it go, walk away. You need to just tell the truth. So they feel trapped. They don't want, they don't want to be trapped. Also, um, oh, what do you call it? Like they feel like they're gonna go to jail for being a thief, prison. This person has to be older. Yeah, they were a false person. This is someone that you, maybe you don't even know that this is the person. Um, I have a feeling you do though, because you're intuitive. And that this has to be somebody in your family. Those are usually the ones that we um, will let come back more than once. Yeah, they were very greedy and, it, and it's... It was all about money and greed and your gifts. Oh, so they went, they went and had a reading done and they tried to get an assassin, assassination done. Even the reader told this person to walk away. And the other person said that they're not going to do it because they know that, that your house is being watched. Alright guys, all I know is I'm hearing that you have the keys within to this and to 
look into the paperwork. Follow the trail of paperwork. So if you don't have the money to call the right people, like, you know, a real, like, investigator to help you with this, then to follow the paperwork, get, get, and start looking in through all of it. I know that there are attorneys that will help you for free if you have some kind of proof. So if you have any kind of paperwork, you can find anything in the system, you can find attorneys that will help you. I know that because I have actually looked into it myself. All right, guys. Peace, love, and light. I will see you guys tonight.